Welcome back. Are you ready for it? We are just about 24 hours away from Taylor Swift's South Florida takeover. Hard Rock Stadium will be buzzing as Taylor Swift kicks off the final leg of her era's tour. But it's her look at boyfriend Travis Kelsey's football game about a week and a half ago that has changed the life of a South Florida entrepreneur. CBS News Miami's Lisa Petrillo is live at Hard Rock Stadium with all the Swifties behind her with the story that just, I guess it just shimmers, right Lisa? It shimmers, Jim, but I want you just for a second to kind of take a look behind me because there are hundreds and hundreds of people in line all day long for this, and that is to get the merchandise. But, you know, really what we're talking about today is a glittery dream became a reality when Taylor Swift showed up, as you referred, to a Chiefs game sparkling with these glitter freckles, and now it's not just a fashion statement, it's an unbelievable sweet and local success story. A glittery dream came true last Monday when pop icon Taylor Swift walked into the Chiefs game sporting a dazzling new look. She was in her plaid Vivian Westwood outfit, but what everybody noticed is Taylor wearing glitter freckles, and she's not usually as bold with makeup, so this was a very bold look for her, and everybody noticed. Those sparkling specks? They're called Fazit's Glitter Freckles, and they're the brainchild of South Florida entrepreneur Aliette Buttleman. For Aliette, the moment was overwhelming. <laughs> And I'm immediately sobbing as 10 million people have now seen online and we were so grateful that it was being third party validated by an icon of our generation. This glittery triumph was no accident. Aliette says she's been manifesting this moment for months. So last May, I manifested that we were going to get it on Taylor Swift by the end of this year. So in May, I posted a TikTok on my personal profile saying, we're going to send this to Taylor Swift's makeup artist, Lori Turk. Aliette, a former model, co-founded the company with her business partner. They started with skincare patches before stumbling upon their glittery gold mine. Cute. The timing for these sparkly sensations couldn't have been better. They actually launched last April at Coachella and sold out in the first seven days. But nothing could prepare Elliot for the Taylor Swift effect. Look what you made me do. In the first 48 hours, 3,500% we've grown. The patches are a simple press, peel, and presto, instant glamour. Oh my god! Elliot has advice to all aspiring entrepreneurs. Putting out to the world what you want to receive, and if you keep working hard, it can happen. And I've been telling every female entrepreneur, you can have your own Taylor Swift moment. How about that? Now, I think everybody here is ready to have their own Taylor Swift moment. They're going to be here tonight, and they close at 8, but boy, these lines are around the clock. But um, And then these uh, phase it makeup patches, uh, as Elliot was saying in the piece, she manifested it. So even though their business is booming and they can't, there's just so many they can't believe it, they were prepared and she's got them everywhere. You can get them on Amazon as well. And of course, uh, at Phase It on Instagram, you can check it out. So a big night tonight. We're going to be back at 6 o'clock taking a look at these crowds and the numbers here in South Florida. It's, a, it's all about Tay Tay this week. Back to you guys in the studio. That is so exciting, Lisa. Of course, I saw Taylor at the Chiefs game wearing the glitter freckles. Love them but had no idea mm. that that person was right here from Miami. Pretty incredible. In this case, all the yeah, glitters. she's actually from West Palm. Oh. She's from West Palm, and her mom came with her to our studio, and she was adorable, and she's smart. Obviously. And she manifested it, for yes. sure. Yes, and all I right. will be getting those glitter uh, freckles as well. So right. <laughs> save me a pair if you have one, Lisa. You're going to wear them on the air? Well, I don't know about all that, but <laughs> Halloween is coming up. So. All right, cool. Thank you, Lisa. Thank